Do I got a sign? Yeah. Okay. Do I got a sign? Nope. Alright, thank you. Right, Have a nice day. Alright, this is gonna be a quick one because I actually have I have to go to work in a few minutes. I waited over a month for this one. I ordered this in March. Didn't really tell anyone. Unless you're like, you're super close to me, I told you. Otherwise, most people didn't really know about this. I, uh, what I'm gonna do is actually just unbox this and then record the rest of this video tonight when I come home from work. Okay, here's the box. You okay, hold on, one second. There's the box. All right, let's open it. Let's see what we got. Woo! Oh my God. Oh geez, it looks even better in person. Oh my God. Woo! Oh my goodness, I've been waiting so long for this one. Wow. Oh my God. Here it is. Rawlings Heart of the Hide, Trapeze, uh, 1275. Oh my goodness. Palm's a little bit janky, but that's just some mallet work right there. It's it's really stiff, but it's not as stiff as um, some of the 44s I've gotten. This is my first Rawlings Custom. I don't look that excited, but I really am. This is my first Rawlings Custom. Carolina Blue, everything. Uh, the binding and the welting is gold. The palm is gold stamped. Uh, classic red patches and white embroidery. I was gonna go with, what you call it? I was gonna go with gold embroidery, but I just went with white because I feel like it would age better. Um, and then I got my name on the thumb. Some people were saying not to get my name on the thumb in case I didn't like it. Um, out of the box, to be completely fair, uh, the pond's a little bit, uh, like it needs to be beat in with the mallet, but that's fine because I, I do that normally. Um, so this is the, my first ever Rawlings Custom. It smells great too. To be honest though, it, it was a lot, a little bit, shorter than expected because they they told me that they would be shipping out like in june and when i read that i was upset but then you know i kind of just got over it i got a message a couple days ago saying oh it's going to be ready by monday the monday the 17th today is wednesday may 12th um so it actually got here even sooner than expected i was literally waiting for the fedex guy i was eating lunch and i was like yo i, I really want this glove to come before i get to work and right when i thought that I saw the fedex truck and kind of ran out to say what's up to him so yeah guys i'll be back tonight all right guys so i'm back um it is the next day i got home from work pretty late it was uh it was like nine when i got home from work um and i i was tired i didn't really feel like recording i did leave off saying that the palm had a bubble um but it's something a mallet won't be able to do so i'm not really worried about that it's stiff but it's not like ridiculously stiff like um i've had gloves stiffer than this my uh, mesh crown tip uh, from 44 was a, a lot stiffer. I couldn't even do like this to it when I first got it. But this one is not that bad. Other thoughts besides just the color being amazing, it looks really good. Like I really like this color. Um, I think I've pretty much covered everything. The leather is really good because it's, you know, hard to hide. The construction is really good. Besides the palm having a bubble, nothing's really wrong with it. One thing I do want to point out though is that yesterday I put my hand in the glove and I actually got cut on my pinky by the by the stitching that, you know, puts the the wrist liner onto the back of the glove. But I don't really care about that. Um, it happens. A lot of gloves that come really stiff um, give you blisters. It just, it's just part of it. Like it, it's not really that big a deal. Like I really didn't care. Um, it doesn't really bother me anymore. After this is broken in, this should be fine. Um, let's see, I wanna give, I wanna give that glove the same exact form as my old trapeze. Uh, just better because this one has uh, creases in the palm and all of that stuff. But guys, other than that, I mean, I just love this glove. I'm really happy that I got it. I first mentioned this glove back when I did the vlog of the Japan Select. That was back in November or December, something like that. So that's been a while. Uh, I've been saving up and just waiting for the perfect opportunity. I want to give a shout out to Glove Trader 77 He's on Instagram. If it weren't for him, I probably still wouldn't have this glove right now because I got a pretty good discount code from him. 
for the right price. Uh, but yeah, so I was able to get this glove for about $300. So the normal price is about $380 plus tax, you know, it's probably like $400. This is gonna be my next gamer, but I'm gonna take a really long time to break this in because I, I'm not playing that much baseball right now. I'm still waiting for the summer season to start up. And yeah, I have a bunch of other outfield gloves to use, so I'm in no rush to break this one in. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Thanks so much for watching. Um, I really appreciate all the support. You should go follow me on Instagram at 914 Ball Gloves. You should also follow my other guys. Their links are down in the description below. If there's anything else you want to see, guys, just let me know, and, and I'll, I'll try to get to it. Now that I'm done with school, I'm going to have a lot more time to upload. Uh, just let me know what you guys want to see. All right, thanks for watching, everyone. See ya.